Good afternoon everybody on YouTube. Matt Emroy here again. Today I have a pretty unique item to show you. This is a uh, printer from Hewlett Packard and this is their HP, if my camera will focus. Come on. I don't know if you guys can read that. HP PhotoSmart C8180 all-in-one printer. Now, I'll give you a little background on this printer. Um, I worked at Best Buy from October of 2006 um, up until 2009. Uh, actually, I left in February. And I started off my first leg there as a uh, computer sales associate. That was uh, from 2006 to May of 2008. And I got there in October, and the next month, so that would have been around November 15th, our store started carrying this particular printer. Now, this was, with, this was their line that started the HP-02 ink cartridges. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but they're all individual colors. Not only do you have individual yellow, um, magenta, and cyan, but there is light and dark cyan and light and dark magenta. Now, this was a huge breakthrough for them because with one, with the individual colors, it was a lot cheaper to replace the ink. Say you use a lot of the dark magenta. Well, once that emptied, you would just pull it out, and it came this neat little ink cartridge kit here, and you pull it out and just replace it with a new one. Well, so I say this was a really big success, and they actually had several versions of these. They had the uh, 5180, which I have owned as well. Uh, that one was just a regular printer, scanner, copier. Um, they had the 6180, which was almost identical, but I believe it just had a little bit more DPI. And then they had this one. Now, this was the most expensive one you could get at the time. Um, I looked it up, I believe it was about $300. And it was that expensive for good reason. I mean, this thing, for its time, we're talking 2006, is totally, totally feature-packed. Firstly, you actually have... Let me see if I can get a less glare shot on here. You actually have a touch screen interactive screen here where you can go into photos and what you can do is you can actually use this uh, memory card reader you stick your card in and you can actually print and edit your photos right on here now I know it doesn't seem like much today but back in 2006 I mean there weren't many printers that were doing that. Back then you still had PicBridge where you would just plug it into the USB port on the printer and you have to do everything from your digital camera. And this does have that feature as well. Um, now down here you have your standard 8.5 by 11 printer paper. And it holds a decent amount. Uh, I would say about maybe 100 to 150 sheets. And what you do is you lift this up and hidden right under here is your 4x6 photo paper. And it actually can go a little bit larger than that. I believe it will go up to 5x7. And this is really cool. The way this works is when you go to print a photo, either using HP PhotoSmart uh, software or Picasa, once you choose that 4x6 size, the printer notices that you have said, okay, I don't want a full page, I just want a 4x6. And the printer will actually feed from this tray, but it actually takes this tray in before it takes the paper. And I just thought it was really interesting and a neat idea. And it seems to work out pretty well because even the modern HP printers they're selling today still use this tray design, for the most part. Now, the cool, absolute coolest feature of this printer by far is... It actually has a dual layer 
DVD burner built in, laptop style drive. Now I remember when I saw this at Best Buy, I thought this was the coolest thing. And I said to myself though, what are you going to use this for? Well, it turns out you can do a lot with it with this printer. Say you have your memory card. You you'd say you went and you went to, let's say you went to a wedding and you hand out your camera to everybody and they took upwards of 500 pictures and you had a big, big memory card. Say back then maybe uh, a one or two gigabyte memory card. You'd be able to stick it in this printer here and you would just, it would come up and you would select the photos that you want, you could actually go through them. I know you probably wouldn't want to go through 500 pictures. Um, actually, you know what? Let, let's do a demonstration of that. Hang on one second, I'll get a disc. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, I think we have some things on this memory card in my hand. First thing I'm going to do is I'll put the blank disk in the drive. And then I will take my, in this case, an XD memory card and stick it in the XD slot. Now, immediately asked, do you want to back the photos up to a DVD? So we're going to say yes. Yep. And immediately you'll see it says, backing up. And that is all there is to it. Amazing, and you could do this with any type of memory card. Um, now, unfortunately, there is one problem with this printer, and I was hoping that one of you guys on YouTube might be able to help me. It is an issue with the ink management system. I'd say if you leave this on for about an hour, it'll come up saying that the ink system has failed. And I've looked online, and everybody's basically beats around the bush. They say, well, you try to replace the ink cartridges, which I haven't done yet. I am planning on doing that, but these are still half full. Um, another one said that you have to do a hard reboot, which I have done on this, and it still comes up. So if anybody out there has had this printer or something similar to it and can help me out, just send me a PM um, or put it in the comments. I would really appreciate it. And as you can see, maybe not, I apologize for this camera, it's the only one I have handy at the moment. Backup successful. And I'll click OK. And that should be it. And now, just to prove to you that it worked, I will go ahead and stick it in my laptop. And yes, everybody, I am going to be doing some more videos on this laptop. <laughs> and so let's see. And it's going to show up over here. And that's it. You can see that everything burnt properly. Well, that's all I have for you guys right now. Enjoy this video and stay tuned for more.